<laughs> oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, my shield doesn't quite work with it, but bloody hell. Oh yes. Rome. Rome. Oh my. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. God. Thank you so much for Blanket Party for sending me this custom banner that is made for, you know, the typical Julii Roman sort of feel. And it looks goddamn gorgeous, because if anyone doesn't know, we here are starting to try and roleplay to rebuild Rome to what it once was, using the Empire faction, but slowly we're modding it into a similar Roman faction. And uh, here we are, last episode, we took this castle here. Now we have two castles, there's one all the way over in the Azari territory. But we're going to come back to that because I have an idea of how we can make that work. But we're going to focus on the Sturgeon territory for now because that seems to go pretty well. Now, what I've been doing just in the meantime, I've been trying to fill up the garrison a bit since, you know, we need to probably do that. I mean, I'm trying to fill it up with Sturgeon soldiers because I think they're a bit happier about it if it's Sturgeon soldiers. And also because I want to keep the Empire soldiers for my party. But one thing we do need to worry about is this over here. That's got... It's only got 196 defenders, you know. That's not too bad. What are you guys doing? Why are my companions just... Ah, oh, they're just running off doing their own thing. But we want, one of, we want one of them to come back and govern this place because I think this needs a better governor. And preferably a Sturgeon governor. So actually, if we go back onto the clan... Oh, right, okay, next is folly. Actually, I'll just quickly explain this. We need to complete this in order to get our true own kingdom. So I'm going to be working on this behind the scenes because I'm it's not that interesting since all you have to do is go and find lords, you ask them about this thing, and they tell you. Let's fill back up our garrison. Oh my god, there's a big army there. Please don't be going towards my castle. Just get in my castle, just in case. Oh, they've come straight for me. Oh no. Well, what would it take you to go our way? What are you offering? How much money? I've got a lot of money. Actually, we could give back some of their lords. What, how much money first? Oh, only 39k. Is that it? I mean, we've got them, but we can probably make that money back just by selling them anyway. Yes, screw it. <laughs> right, so that's absolutely fine. They're not coming to war with us anymore just because I gave them money. They're not going to siege my castle, are they? Oh, God, they are. Guys. Guys, look. What are you playing at? I, we, I thought we made a deal. Right, we managed to bribe them to go away. And uh, they won't attack us for a while now, which is good because it means we can... We've had to do this quite a lot. <laughs> we had to do a similar thing with the Ezerai, but I think I think that's all right. We take one of their places, we make peace with them. Once we get a bigger army, we can take a new place. But we'll come back and we'll sort them out once we've gone and saved our companion. And trust me, I'm going to make war with the Sturgeons by the end of this episode. Wow, this is the first place that I've actually seen where we've actually got decent food already. Most of the places you take have... Terrible food, but it looks like the food infrastructure is not too bad. Nonetheless, we're going to make sure we can work on that food uh, while we're gone. We're going to make sure they're doing that. Festivals and games, that's fine. We don't have a governor in this place, but we don't really need one for now. Um, great, great, great. Uh, let's put a garden as well and a lime kiln because they're probably the best things you can start with with this sort of thing. So, we're heading south. We filled up the garrison. They've now got 76 defenders, which is not bad. Not bad at all. They should continue if we take a look at it. Do we have... Oh, we don't have a militia barracks, actually. Let's get that going, because if we could have a militia barracks, then we'd get basic training for citizens, so we can get some daily militia recruitment. So then that, that will just keep going up and up, the militia in there. But we are heading south, because we're going to go and find a certain man. This is not very nice man. He's found Sianin... Vione Kassira today. Which is, let's if we track it, is over here. Right, we got a bit of a trek. Oh, Vernet the Wrong escaped from captivity. Where are you now then, son? Where are you now? You're staying at, uh, last seen Oxwell staying at Teal. Wait, have you just come back? So somehow my companion that we've been looking for got out of captivity over in the Ezerai territory then somehow went over to Orcs, what's its name, Orcs Hall, Ox Hall, and now has ended up in Teal, next to where our city is. <laughs> Literally useless, some of these people. Useless, I tell you. But we went into the Empire Territory to get a few more recruits, so it's, it's not a waste of a journey, let's say. Not a waste of a journey. 
You're in the settlement somewhere, aren't you? Are you going to be in the tavern district? Yeah, you are. Right, come on. Come back. I think it will be really funny to see if we can pull anyone out here and really piss them off. <laughs> Let's see if we can raid this and see if we can annoy anyone enough to get them to come out. Right, we've got to just kill the militia that are there. But uh, it's just a simple town's militia. They should go down pretty fast. Especially with our archers. As you can see, it's doing a pretty good job. Ah, look at the shield walls. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It is beautiful. It is so beautiful. Right, lads, get in there. Do your thing. No, horsey, you better not run away. I know you've just been shot, but you're coming back. Ah, uh, Cav. You might as well get in there as well. Right, I've got my new war razor here. Let's see what this goddamn thing can do. Supposedly, it's pretty good. I mean, it's got the reach. My only issue is... Yeah, I'm probably going to have to get rid of my shield for when we go and siege castles because I have used this actually on another save. And it's great for horseback, as you can see, but as soon as you get onto a castle wall, it's pretty much useless. Good job, lads. Good job, lads. Mate, you're the only one not in uniform. I need to get you a better, a better chest piece from that because you're just not in uniform whatsoever. You look disgusting. Look at all these guys in the uniform. And then there's you. Right, great job there. We took some prisoners. Fantastic. Lovely stuff. No, 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 no. You can't run. No, I, I need to upgrade my skills on you, please. And I just saw, after this, one of the Empire guys was in a battle with a sturgeon. We might be able to go and help them. Because even though we're not part of the Empire, it'll be good to get our relations up with them until we can make our own kingdom and destroy them. Naturally. Oh, here comes our cavalry. Right, we're going to get our horses to go and deal with that because we don't want their cab charging into our uh, archer line. No, thank you. I've noticed quite often the switching of weapons without me indicating to. I don't know if it's a bug in battle. I don't know if other people have discovered that. But my weapon seems to switch even when I don't click anything. Right, well, we dealt pretty well with these guys. Actually, our archers have done a really good job at dealing with them, not necessarily uh, my horsemen. Oh, he just got back on the horse and it died. Right, archers, let's see what you can do now. Cav, you get over there. Roman archers are not necessarily famed for being incredible, but uh, they might do a decent job. My archers have seemed to be doing all right. I thought I'd put you with the archers, Orchos. Oh, I'll have to do that next time. Right, let's hold the line, and the cavalry is going to smash in at the back. There's a guy there. That's our leader. Killed him. <laughs> cavalry, can you smash in at the back, please? Oh, we have a lot of horse archers, but a few are coming in smashing the back. All right, infantry, I will let you chase them down now. You did a good job of holding the line. See, these battles here are good because we can capture lords, so we have leeway when we're bartering with people, and also, it's really getting our guys leveled up. Looters doesn't really upgrade your guys' level at all, but uh, this is very good. And we only lost one guy. Who died? An Imperial recruit. Oh, well. It could have been worse. <laughs> we look at our clan. Oh, we are party level 3 now. Level 3 is great because it means we can actually make a kingdom now if we choose to. And obviously, we have many, many, many more men at our disposable. But there's a battle going over here. And now we have a possibility of 96 guys in our, our, our troop. This means we can actually start looking at sieging actual cities. I've realised that 96 is sort of a good number for sieging cities. Right, they're sending in their cav, so I'm going to do the same. Oh, God. Oh, our archers. Oh, our archers. Good job. Good job, archers. I love these snowy battles. They're so aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> oh, oh, the javelins and stuff coming in as well for my trained infantrymen. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just a few bits passing by with my uh, cav doing their thing. And they're going down. Right, everyone. Let's just get in there. They're spreading out. They're, 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 this is an easy battle, <laughs> let's be honest. Not many tactics are going to have to be used here. They're so spread out, and they really have a lot of weak units. And this war razor, thank you so much for... Oh my god, this recruit! Look at this recruit! Mate, you're a mad lad! You're a mad lad if you survive it. I mean, I did save your life many a time, but... Uh, what an absolute mad lad that recruit was. <laughs> he was going straight in there. Oh, like, you can help me with my mission. Please, help me with my mission. Thank you. That's all I needed. Although, that castle... <laughs> I like the look of that castle. Oh yes, bring a big army to me. Bring a big army to me. I mean, they 
they sort of didn't do it all at once. If they'd done it all at once, look, they could have had triple the army they're sending at me. But if you want to do it one by one, that's also fine. Testudo or what, lads? I love how the ones on the back row put their shields above them. It's lovely. Cavalry, come back to me now, please. Come back to me now. You're going to get yourself in a bit of a pickle if you're not careful. Right, Cav. We're going on a bit of a journey. Oh. Apparently, our horse we had some new horse archers that I hadn't selected. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Cav, we're going for their archers. It's going to do a big run through of their archers, I think. Kill them all. Slaughter their archers. Hey! Why are you killing our men over there? Why are our men so... Oh, it's because we've recruited so many Sturgeons, and Sturgeons are terrible. Everyone knows this. It's because we don't have many true Empire soldiers left anymore. I do like this weapon on horseback. Got a feeling it's not going to be great in a siege, though. Great. We lost quite a few men, though. But I think we have enough people in our prisoners that want to join us, so it's actually not a problem. Come on, attack us, I dare you. Oh. <laughs> it did the typical mountain blade thing, whereas they're not quite sure until they get just enough of the right morale to do it. But, uh... <sighs> what? Guys, come on. Uh, surely you learned from what you just saw. And maybe you didn't see it. Maybe that's why you're attacking me again. This is actually turning into more of a Sturgeon army, if I'm going to be honest. But that's what tends to happen when you go and uh, take the other places. When we went to the Azerite place, they were... <laughs> Oh my god, he just killed my horse. He couched that's my horse. Archers, do your thing. You're doing a good job there. I'm proud of you. Right, just hold the front line. We're pretty good at holding the front line, I'd say. Yeah. Holding the front line is really where we do well in. I think that's much more effective than just charging after them. Saying that, I'm going to charge after them now. You're the leader. I didn't actually kill you, that's a shame. But I'm gonna kill all your men here. With my new favorite weapon on horseback. Look at it go! This is what true power looks like. This is what true power really does look like. Oh, continue the siege then. Just keep throwing your armies at me. It's fine, I'm all right with it. Don't worry, oh, ew. oh yes, yes. Now it's getting big and juicy. Now the armies are getting big and juicy. Hello, sir. But I have a plan. A plan that I haven't really shown you guys yet. And it works pretty well. There's their leader, or one of them. Well, he's dead. Now, we need to go and kill these archers first. Because this plan won't work if they have too many archers. Archer killing it is, lads. Archer killing it is. Good job. Good job. Good job. Right. Now, lads. Move. 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 We need to go and uh, join up with our guys now. Oh, it's happening already. We were too late. We were too late. What I wanted to do was turn their shields round so our archers would be able to do more damage, but it's not a big deal. We still managed to get in behind to do our thing. A good charge in from behind is still worth it. <laughs> to be fair, I only actually lost six men from that. <laughs> After all of that, only six men actually died. We have done this, but I have been recording for quite some time, and we've done some big battles, so I'm going to leave this episode here. But the reason I'm going to is because I want the next episode to be Big Siege, and that is what we're going to do next episode. We're going to take this city, finally, after being attacked by so many people. And it's going to be great. And that will be going up tomorrow. So make sure you tune in. Hopefully this series can continue to be ish daily. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a big siege. Now we can start getting some more men into uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, who else do we want? A veteran bowman. Lovely. Oh no, you're prisoners. Oh, we don't need you actually. Oh well. Well, we can start bringing these guys in then. <laughs> Come and join us, lads. I'll let you. I'll let you. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Next time, we will take this place. But until then, I will see you in the next one.